الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتبكن عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلنه فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسنيما كثيرا 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 أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإثمهما أكبر من نفعهما صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Respected brothers, elders, mothers and sisters listening at home Alhamdulillah, now we have entered in the month of Sha'ban. And the month of Sha'ban, it's the entry to the month of Ramadan. And in narrations, it is mentioned that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was not a month that he would fast so much and so consistent other than the month of Sha'ban, obviously, except for Ramadan. Now, majority of the month of Sha'ban, Nabi alayhi salatu was salam, he would fast in preparation so that he could be ready for the month of Ramadan. When he was asked, Ya Rasulullah, you're fasting on Mondays, Thursdays. So Nabi alayhi salatu was salam's reply was, I would love for my actions, my deeds to go up to the heavens to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the state that I am fasting. So few things that we should prepare for the month of Ramadan and Sha'ban is a training camp for the month of Ramadan. We should try our best to get rid of some bad deeds and make a habit of starting to do some new good deeds start practicing a new sunnah and it will help us inshallah throughout the month of ramadan as well speaking of bad deeds we must understand that the body this concept that we have Mera Jism Meri Marzi and I don't need anyone guiding me. There should not be an external force telling me what to do, how to live my life. This is not an Islamic concept. The Islamic ideology, the Islamic mindset is I came with the command of Allah. I was born with the permission of Allah, with the command of Allah. I shall die with the command of Allah, with the permission of Allah. So therefore that life which I have, it is given by the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have been permitted to carry out actions through His permission. But what He wants me to do is to live this life according to his command and his teachings which was shown to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it only makes sense if I have come to the world with his command, I shall leave the world with his command, I wake up and continue breathing in fresh oxygen with his command, 
I go to sleep with his command. I eat, the food is provided for me through his command. Everything is through his command. It is only fair that I live my life also under his command. I also do my deeds for him to please him and do it only to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy and do everything, live my life under his command and only his command. یہ جو ہمارے ذہنوں میں ایک انتشار پہلا ہوا ہے کہ بھائی میرا جسم میری مرضی یہ ایک غیر اسلامی سوچ ہے اور غیر اسلامی سوچ اس بنا پر کہ انسان یہ سمجھتا ہے تکبر کی بنا پر یا آزادی کی بنا پر یا ماحول سے متاثر ہو کر یہ سوچ اپنے دماغ میں بیٹھا چکا ہے کہ میری زندگی میری مرضی میرا پیسہ میری مرضی میں جو کروں میری مرضی یہ انا کا بت انسان پر سوار ہو چکا ہے حالانکہ یہ انسان جب پیدا ہوتا ہے اس میں اس کی اپنی مرضی نہیں جب مرتا ہے اس میں اس کی اپنی مرضی نہیں جب کھاتا ہے اس میں اس کی اپنی مرضی نہیں غرض جو جو بھی دنیا میں یہ کرتا ہے وہ محض اللہ رب العزت کے حکم سے اللہ رب العزت کے اجازت سے یہ سب کچھ وہی کرتا ہے جس کی اللہ رب العزت اس کو چھوٹ دے یا اجازت دے یا اس پر نرمی کرے لیکن یہ سوچ سب کچھ دے اللہ لیکن کرو جو میں چاہوں یہ غیر انصاف کا تقاضہ ہے یہ انصاف کا تقاضا نہیں اور یہ انسان کی سوچ یہ بہت ناجائز سوچ ہے اگر پیدا ہوا اللہ کی مرضی سے وفات ملی اللہ کی مرضی سے تو عقل کا بھی تقاضا یہی ہے کہ جو بیچ والی زندگی ہے وہ زندگی بھی اللہ نہیں عطا کی ہے اس زندگی کو گزارنا وہ بھی اللہ کی مرضی سے ہونا چاہیے اگر دنیا میں رب مانی کر لی تو آخرت میں من مانی ہوگی اور اگر دنیا میں ہی ہم نے من مانی کر لی تو آخرت میں پھر رب مانی ہوگی اور رب مانی کا تقاضا آخرت میں یہ ہے کہ جس نے ظلم کیا جس نے اللہ رب العزت کی نافرمانی کی ان کو کھڑی سے کھڑی سزا دی جائے گی So it is only fair that if I am living in the world, the life is given to me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I live my life according to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, regarding wine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the second stage was, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, إِثْمُهُمَا أَكْبَرْ مِن نَفْعِهِمَا that the harm of this thing is far more greater than its benefits. That the harm is far more greater than its benefits. So if something has greater harm, we should stay away from it. We should stay away from it. And the third stage was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that إِنَّمَا الْخَمْرُ وَالْمَيْسِرُ وَالْأَنصَابُ وَالْأَزْلَامُ رِجْسٌ مِّنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ It is from amongst the traps of, uh, from the traps of shaitan. فَجِتَنِبُوا Stay away from it. Refrain from it. Now the reason I am mentioning this, that the main purpose is, like I said, this body is a trust by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So harming oneself, Taking something that will cause harm to an individual, one should refrain from it. One should refrain from it. And especially if that harming has intoxication within it as well. <coughs> now, I'm not talking about drugs and normal stuff that's out there. I am talking about something which our young lads are involved in it in a high number. And that is vaping. Vapes. The reports which we have is that year sevens they start, year eight and year nines 
are involved in vaping either selling it either taking it and they are in school and they're going crazy about it and someone that's not vaping he's looked down upon someone that's involved in vapes he's looked upon and it's become a very bad habit of the youngsters yes maybe you look cool in front of your friend's eyes but that is just like someone standing in the middle of the road and there are cars going past at a very high speed and your friends are like on the side on the pavement on the footpath and they're like whoa bro you smashed it you're in the middle of the street your next level that's bare cool man's next level all of this stuff and you're thinking yeah see i'm getting appreciated by my friends i've been acknowledged by my friends but brother use your sense you are on the middle of the street and cars are driving past at a very high speed there is a great chance that you will seriously harm yourself but the person says things nah and he tries to invite his friends as well this is very bad and it's a very bad mentality of ours now vapes they do cause serious damage to one's health vaping we have this concept oh it's safer than cigarettes no it's not they're both the same thing and in 2019 and 2020 the amount of patients that went into the hospital for e valley that's e stands for e-cigarettes or vaping product use associated lung injury thousands went to the hospital just for this illness and this can be fatal thousands and brothers majority were below the age of 35 usb اور ان میں اکثریت کی عمر جو ہے پینتیس برس سے نیچے کی تھی یعنی بڑے بھی نہیں چھوٹے چھوٹے بچے جوان وہ اس بیماری میں ملوث اور اس بیماری میں ہے کیا کھانسی کا آنا طبیعت کا خراب ہو جانا کوف فیور ڈائیریا وامیٹنگ شورٹنس آف بریتھ پیپل تھنک شورٹنس آف بریتھ اٹس ڈینجرس asthma attacks all of these things are happening because we think we are so cool and we've got a pen or something in our mouth and we're there and even whilst driving yeah go on man tell me what one what's all this about brothers we need to take our health seriously we need to take it seriously and ithmuhuma akbar min naf'ihima the harm is far more greater than its benefits what are the benefits nothing except a wow and a clap and bro that is next level you're a g that's all you're getting from it like i said you're in the middle of the road you've got cars zooming past and you're stood in the middle of the road and your friends are like whoa you're a g man what's the point of that g when it can get you killed so respected brothers now it's the month of shaban and our elders they should do strict supervision of our young ones والدین کو چاہیے کہ سخت سرپرستی میں اپنے اولاد کو رکھیں یہ جو دور ہے بہت پرفتن دور ہے اور ہمیں معلوم ہی نہیں ہوتا کہ ہمارے بچے کن کن چیزوں میں ملوث ہے وی ڈونٹ ایون ریئلائز واٹ آور کڈز گوئی تھرو سو وی شوڈ ہیو اسٹرکٹ سپرویژن آف آور چلڈرن اینڈ اس دا منتھ آف شاہبان وی شوڈ اسٹاپ پریپیرنگ فار امبان ناؤ سو اٹس ناٹ جسٹ ویپس فار سم اٹس نسوار For some it's gutka, Karachi walo ke liye gutka hai. For some it's paan, nicotine and all, the, all these weird stuff. 
you can start preparing for that now. And in the month of Ramadan, 30 days when you can do that, out of Ramadan, you can make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah make it easy for all of us. And it's not just that, even being overweight, it is causing its issue with breathing. You can't sleep straight, you can't walk straight, you can't do many things. How can you worship Allah when you cannot go to sajda properly and you're out of breath? How can you go for Umrah and you can't even go around the Kaaba seven times? And it's because of our diet. And I address myself before I talk to any one of you. We are taking the body of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which he has given us for granted. And we are very careless in the actions that we do. Also, for the brothers of Palestine, if the world is not with you, the creator of the world is with you. And we salute to their bravery. <clears throat> Brothers, every day it's been 133 days. Non-stop bombardment, non-stop killing, genocide, illegal settlers and collective punishment is carried out every single day and millions of Palestinians are in great danger but yet they are still standing strong so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them protect them make everything easy for them and lighten their pain may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to feel what they are feeling and help them and support them in whatever way we can May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Also brothers, as we can see, mashallah, work is taking place in the masjid. So brothers are requested to donate towards the masjid cause inshallah.